How are you doing? I'm Tom DiCillo, the writer and director of Delirious, and right now I am backstage at Sundance with HP. I, you know, have always kind of, in, in, my, in my endeavors, uh, been fascinated by all the stuff that just happens on the periphery of the filmmaking process. And it's not only the filmmaking process, sometimes it's the music business or, or fashion photography. But, you know, you, you, you watch these people on the runway and they're all getting their picture taken. For some reason, I'm always like just about 10 feet away watching the whole event and finding it much more fascinating than what the models are doing. You understand what I'm saying? And, and so I, this, I, I began to be really interested in the idea of, of fame and how does someone become famous. That, that was the basic idea with this film. I'm Gina Gershon. I'm backstage at Sundance with HP. I'm in the movie, Tom DiCillo's movie, Delirious, um, starring Steve Buscemi and Michael Pitt and Alison Lohman. And um, I'm here just because I really like the movie and I really like Tom and they asked me to come and I like to ski, <laughs> yeah. although there's not much snow, so. So I said, but, what, but you know, what I'm most interested in is, is the thing that keeps our whole business alive is this belief that there is magic. That, that someone possessing this talent could somehow make it. That was the general idea of the story. Then I kind of turned it into a, 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 a fable, kind of like a, an adult fable, and, and had this kid played by Michael Pitt. He starts out homeless, and he bumps into this paparazzi, the lowest rung of the celebrity game. And they hook up. This unlikely you know, relationship begins between the two of them. And, uh, and it enables me to get inside the mind of a paparazzi in a way that has not been done before. It is like kind of this vicious cycle. I mean, and now there's this new thing about getting, you know, celebrities so they look really horrible. You know, like let's catch them working out on a hike. I mean, the, where they show yeah, up, right, yeah, it's, it's just it's just not. It's it's really. Um, I don't know, there's something nasty about the whole thing. And I mean, as long as people keep buying magazines, maybe it makes some people feel better seeing celebrities looking really bad. But it's just, it's not cool. And it's kind of gross. I mean, I guess, you know, something like what happened to Diana happens in the States. Maybe that, but it seems like these things do happen. It really, they really should be outlawed. They should be thrown in jail, these people, I find, you know. We live in a world where, where this outside recognition now be, is so crucial and so critical. People will do anything to get it. And, and, and even if you feel terrible about yourself, even if you feel your, your own self-value is pretty bad, if the entire world tells you you're incredible, you believe it. You believe it. It, it saves you from having to, to really think about it yourself. I think it shows the audience a, a little bit of this world or these people's lives that you wouldn't normally see. You take, the, you take the tiniest little, little fleck of reality and it, it has so much power and resonance to it that it would blow, it would blow most people's minds. Um, you know, that's what the film is about. It's about someone trying to find the, the, whatever value they have. 